Welcome, I'm Daphne Sadiq. And I'm Liz Kogan. And we're here at the gallery upstairs at the Hair Up restaurant. Representing DiscoverMilton.com. So excited about this new series where we get to reach out and connect with Miltonians you and I both love. Have you ever seen someone in a restaurant or walked by someone and thought, hmm, I'd love to get to know that person better? Well, guess what? We feel the same way and we want to connect you to our local Miltonians and find out so much more about them. Welcome to this week's episode brought to you by Discover Milton. Really excited to be speaking to Rob from Trainers On Site to teach us some of those tips and tricks that we're all looking for to lose some of that weight. All right, so Rob, tell me a little bit about Trainers On Site. Well, Daphne, Trainers On Site is a mobile personal training service. So we go to people's homes all throughout the GTA. Uh, I'm actually here based in Milton. I own the company and I have about six trainers on the team going all over Toronto, Oakville, Brampton, Mississauga and we actually will bring the workout to the people. Wow, how so. great is that you bring the workout to us? So we don't need to come to you. No, no, it's convenient. We actually show up, we'll bring the bands, the dumbbells, the TRX, wow. use your body weight and get you to have a good sweat right in the comfort of your own home. Okay, so I got a question for you. Sure. Now, everybody knows about this 80-20 rule. Is that really true? It's actually true. 80-20 is great. Uh, myself being a personal trainer, my wife's a RHN, registered, registered holistic nutritionist, and uh, we eat pizza. You know, we eat, I, I drink beer, so okay, I'll do that's... karate on a Friday night and come home, kids will have pizza. You know, we'll have maybe not really pop, but beer. And yeah, you know what? I'm eating good all the time. And then 20%, I'll cheat a little bit, have some fries, and you know, but it's pretty good all the time. Okay, that's a relief for me. Yeah. Seriously. That's good, right? Okay, so I have to tell you, I'm probably um, one of the million people that my New Year's resolution was oh. to lose weight. Mm -hmm. Okay, so like sure everybody you... else out there. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, okay. So what would you say would be the best exercise for me to do if I had to do only one? Only one? There's yeah. got to be two. I'm sorry. It's got to <laughs> be two because you have to work your upper body, your core, and your legs at the same time. So the two exercises I would choose for anyone out there is squats and push-ups. So for example, okay. when we're doing squats, right? So feet are about hip width apart, we're going to squat down and come up. Now let's think about the squat though. How many muscles are working in the squat? Well, we're working our quads, our hamstrings, our glutes, our calves, and your core to stay up tight as well. So squats are a great full body exercise. And in fact, when you're doing squats, you burn more body fat. And when you, more, when you burn more body fat, you're actually losing in the torso. So that's real key. Now the next one, the right. second most important exercise is a push-up. Okay. Whether it's modified or on your toes, I try to get all my clients to do it on their toes. Okay. So let's look at a push-up, right? Okay. So push-up's gonna work our chest, our shoulders and triceps, and core as well. Okay. So we get down, we can do a regular push-up here. <sighs> Breathing's important, of course. Or you can do the modified ones on your knees, and same deal like that. So there you have it. Those are your two most important exercises, doing a squat, which you can do anywhere. You don't need any fancy gym or right. crazy equipment. And push-ups. Yeah. Great. Those are the two. Um, and this is a, a something that I always hear. It's it's about your one-liners. Okay. Oh, my one-liners. Yeah, you got okay. some one-liners out popular. there. Yeah. 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 A lot of a lot of the people that you're training are always throwing out these one-liners at me. Like uh, abs are made in the kitchen. Like what's that? Yeah. Another good one too is that uh, the beach body is actually made in the winter. So, you know, you gotta actually really train hard now to look good on the beach in the summer, and that's, that's real true. Great, thank you. No problem. 